Um, we'll move on then to Mark Freeman with uh, BASF. Okay. So I'm Mark Freeman, um, agronomist with BASF. Um, so I cover Stoneville cotton and, and Credin soybeans. And uh, Brady Reynolds is our, our sales associate in uh, Alabama in, in the Panhandle. And uh, both of our emails and phone numbers are right there on the screen. So if you ever have any questions, you know, feel free to reach out to either one of us. Um, we'll be more than happy to help you. I'm just going to go real quick on some of our um, kind of top varieties for each maturity group. Uh, we have a big portfolio and I don't, you know, I don't want to take up too much time. So I'm just going to kind of hit the highlights, but I'm going to start with our group sevens. Um, the 7380 uh, has been our top seller the past couple of years. Um, a really, really strong performing uh, group seven um, does really well, you know, behind wheat or, or planted early. Um, it, it, it is extend. Um, it's not extend flex, but you can use the Roundup and dicamba, and uh, it's also root knot uh, resistant. So 7380X, and I went and got some local data, or as, as close as I could get, but uh, got some out of Bruton, Alabama, from uh, Auburn OVTs. We actually won that Group Seven trial there in Bruton, and also did really, really well in Georgia. We were the the top Group Seven in the uh, Georgia OVTs. So that's 7380X, um, kind of our top, top seller, top yielder in that group seven category. And then on group sixes, um, our top bean there is going to be down there at the bottom, the 6770X. Um, it's also Roundup Ready to extend, so you can use the uh, glyphosate as well as Ingenia on it. Um, and it's also root knot resistant. Uh, some local data for it. Again, in Bruton, uh, did really, really well. Um, uh, right there behind that, I don't even know what that top one is, but um, did really well in Bruton. Then in group fives, um, our top variety in the fives is going to be the 5859 Liberty Link. Uh, we do have extend options as well with 5299 and, and 5700 being kind of our top um, extend fives, but that the 5859 Liberty Link has been our top yielder. Um, again, did really well in Bruton, um, kind of in that top group among yields in uh, local varieties. And then one more thing uh, in Georgia, we've, you know, Philip Roberts talked about that ultra late, um, you know, behind, behind either your silage corn or your grain corn getting planted real late. Well, Credenz has actually done really well um, in the OVTs over in, in Georgia. They run those one in Adipolgus, which is right there on the Florida line, and then in Midville, which is in Southeast Georgia. But Credenz varieties have done well the last two years, um, went in the trial both years. Um, in 2020, that uh, Credenz 7570 Liberty Link was the top, uh, top yielder in uh, 2020. But that's it. I just want to hit the highlights. Um, again, if you guys ever need anything from, from BASF, Credin, Stoneville, feel free to reach out. Uh, my number and emails there, as well as Brady Reynolds, who, who uh, covers sales for, for your area. Um, next up, we have um, uh, Drew Shrimcher, and he's, gonna, he's from Greenpoint Ag and going to talk about our crop line varieties. And he'll do both corn and um, soybeans. Uh, as Jennifer said, I'm Drew Scrimpture with Greenpoint Ag. Um, I'm going to go over go through the crop land varieties. Our seed rep is Ray Hollis. He couldn't uh, speak today on the, on the crop land varieties, but I told him I'd cover them. We look at them a lot of trials. Basically, every year I try to put a... A short list together each year of and, and just kind of the overall performance that you know how they looked in our trials or finished in our trials but uh three they have pretty much have three or uh, four hybrids rather that are uh, very well suited and perform pretty good the cropland 56 78 has been kind of the, their staple the last couple of years and it has traveled really well it's a medium uh hybrid with low ear placement it's got excellent early vigor, excellent grain quality, uh, very good stock quality. 
and it just a, been a consistent overall performer across many environments, irrigated dry land, you know, tough acres, and even uh, has a lot of yield potential on some of the better acres. Um, Cropland 5340, this was um, uh, same agronomics and traits as uh, Cropland 6640, which for many years and a lot of university trials and uh, trials everywhere, the 6640 was a very top performer, both dry land and irrigated. It has a lot of ear flex, uh, like the old girthy ears we used to see in many of the old hybrids, so it responds well to lower populations. Um, just has been a very good corn. However, it is highly susceptible to southern rust and uh, common rust both, but years we've had southern rust, the fungicide uh, was recommended and needed on that hybrid. Cropland 5550, um, this is a newer hybrid. It, um, I didn't get a whole lot of looks at it, but it, it did pretty well. It was just overall just a good hybrid, a good performance as well, just, just good over agronomics with disease package, stay green and, and, and the grain quality. And then a new one, 5814, this is a smart stacks hybrid, so it is Liberty uh, Link. You can spray Liberty over the top if needed. Um, but this one really impressed me not only from the yield and the grain quality, but also just, just the stay green and the intactness into the fall. I know that you can't, it becomes pretty important. Sometimes we can't get the corn out as quick and, and having something that's gonna stay out there and stand well and, and, and just hold good, good intactness and integrity through the stalk is it, it becomes important. And with that, that's all I have, Jennifer. Um, I appreciate the time and the opportunity to, to speak on the cropland hybrids today. Uh, next up, we're gonna have Rod Higdon with uh, Bear Crop Science. Okay. Hey, look, thanks Thanks for giving me the opportunity. I'm gonna go through corn, uh, the cab corn. I'm gonna go through Asgrove soybean, Asgrove soybeans, rarely rapidly, but uh, hopefully if, if anybody's got any questions, they can, they can run uh, myself or my agronomist down. Uh, I'll, I'll start with corn, and uh, we sell, uh, we've got a whole product guide full of variety hybrids of corn, and they're really only a six or seven that really fit North Florida and South Alabama, and I'll go through those families of corn. Uh, we've got, we're selling several different technologies in each, each hybrid, and I'll, I'll take that 6208 family up front, up top left, uh, 112 day. We sell, that's a smart stacks hybrid, which uh, Drew just mentioned. I mean, it, it adds uh, Herculex and Liberty to our triple double pro type stuff. It's Roundup Ready, of course. But we sell that hybrid in a 6205, which is a Roundup Ready. We sell it in a, a 6206, which is a conventional. And the, the other, the fourth technology that we're selling in the, in the, in the marketplace will be a Tricepta, which is a, a, you know, a three above ground, worm material product. We've only got a couple of hybrids in the Tricepta uh, technologies that we'll, that we'll be selling. I think there'll be more of them in the future, but but for 2021, we've only, uh, I'd say we got one one that we're selling, but it's really limited. I'll talk about it in a second. Uh, 6208 family of corn, the broad fit. Uh, we use it a lot in Georgia on irrigated acres. Uh, it, it actually, I've stuck it in some dry land trials it is, it's really a good dry land corn as well. It's got really good girth, flat, ear flex. Uh, it flexes more girth than it will length. Uh, populations 28 to 38,000, depending on whether you dry land or irrigated. Uh, broad acre product, a, a really good product. I'd say it's our number, probably our number one or two hybrid in, uh, in Alabama and Georgia and North Florida. Uh, the second one I'll talk about, and I've kind of skipped through it, it's not on my screen, it's 6744. We, it's, a, it's a double pro. We sell it in 6742, which is a, a smart stacks version of that same hybrid. But uh, it's not on the screen, but it's, it's got great ear flex. It is our, it's my leading dry land product uh, in corn, 6744 or, or 6742. Great disease package, 117 day corn. Uh, I moved to the, the second one on the left, uh, 6357 was new last year, this year. We pre-sold a good bit of this hybrid. It's, a, it's also a broad acre product. I fit similar to 6208. I'd say 6357 is probably a little, we rated a little better dry land than 6208. Uh, you'll see populations ranging the same. It's got similar ear flex, 6208. 
excellent disease package. Like I said, we got a bunch of hybrids in our product guide. They, they don't all fit this part of the world, but that one and the ones I'll talk about got a great fit down here. 6357 has got a really good, I heard Drew indicate this on one of his hybrids, it's got really good late season intactness. This is a, it's a good looking corn at the end of the season and uh, a lot of people appreciate that. 65, 20, 115 day. Uh, this one is a mature hybrid. Uh, I'd say it's been out five or six years, maybe. Uh, it's a double pro. It's got the drought guard gene in, in, in it. Uh, we sell a lot of it, dry land. I don't, I don't know, we, we've got, I've got it fit, fits irrigated as well. And, and all these fit irrigation, uh, of course, but it's, it's a better dry land product. And that's where it fits. Excellent grain quality. Uh, good disease package. 6520 is definitely one of my uh, other leading corns. Top right, 68, 69. We also sell it in 68, 68, which is a different technology on the same corn. Uh, I'd say probably our top, top end corn for hybrid that we sell uh, in, in an irrigated situation, it will probably outrun most of these. Uh, where you've got irrigation, it'd probably be my, one of my top picks, 68, 208 would be a top pick as well. Just a lot of yield on top end, um, excellent grain quality, a good Southern disease package as well. And I'll back up 6520, the Achilles heel of that hybrid is, uh, is Southern rust. That, that, that hybrid's definitely gotta be sprayed, but it's hard to beat on dry land. Uh, 68, 69, we talked about 69, 16. Uh, definitely in my in my world is a dry land product, uh, 119 day, uh, tough. It fits all re really mainly from good dirt down to really marginal dirt. I'd say it fits that tough environment on corn. Uh, and, and, and we got some corns that'll be put in that situation. 69, 16 is a smart snack, so you can use, use Liberty over it as well. Uh, got good row coverage uh leaves out i mean it's it's a it's a definitely a good hybrid to sit on dry land and, and along with 67 44 and 65 20. last one 70 27 uh, a big tall plant 120 day kind of more tropical characteristics corn uh, we use it a lot on light dirt uh with with under limited irrigation or or irrigation uh full irrigation i'd say uh, but it, but it responds better on, on lighter dirt and, and what, we, what we've what we seen. Uh, but a good tall hybrid, it's got really good stalk roots and it'll, it'll, it'll stand really well. Last corn I will mention is a Tricepta technology corn. It's 69.99. Uh, we had it in some tests last year and it was, it had a really good year. We have very little to none of that hybrid, but that'll be a hybrid we'll talk about next year. 69.99, 119 day, uh, a good fit. Uh, if you can still see my screen, Jennifer, I'm going to flip the soybeans for just about two minutes. Yes, we, we see it. We've got, what, you're, what you'll see is an ASGRO, just a product sheet uh, for the south. Uh, the, but from uh, really the bottom third or the bottom fourth is really the ones I want to concentrate on. North Florida, South Alabama, we don't plant. Uh, I say we plant off just a tad of fours under, under irrigation. Uh, some of those indeterminate ones, we we only plant a few. I, I'll start with like the, the late fives. We've got a, it, it's got a fit in, in, in our area. 59X9 will be our leading product in late fives. Uh, it is a, it is, it is an extend product. And, and the 59XFO that you'll see below it is an extend flex product, which it adds the ability to put Liberty on over the extend flex bean. So, 59X9, 59XFO, a pretty similar bean. Uh, they one's just an extend flex and one's an extend, uh, which just takes roundup and I count. Uh, that, that late five has got a solid agronomic package. It is a brown bean, which most people look for, a uh, tan bean, uh, tolerant to southern root knot. Uh, and it's just, you know, a lot of these beans, when you pick, when a grower picks these things, they, the maturity is the number one aspect. But, so you'll see the five nine, the six four, the six nine, the seven two, seven four. A lot of these beans have got similar characteristics, and they're all they're all brown beans. They're all root knot beans. All got good southern disease packages. Uh, just subtle differences in the in the in the beans uh, with different maturities. But the, the main the takeaway from from Asgrove is the is the 
the, the market availability of the extend flex that we've got this year and the, you'll see it with the xf which means extend flex the you know, extend beans will just be an xo or an x8 and that just denotes that number denotes what what year they came out so 59 x9 uh, as a 2019 bean it's just an extend bean but 64 x8 69 x0 uh, southern disease packages root not tolerant and they're brown I think the second part of, of a grower picking a bean is, hey, what color is it? And, and, uh, and they're all brown. So the 74X8, I'll say one thing about it, and then I'll conclude. Uh, a tough bean, a beautiful soybean in that mid-7. Uh, I, I looked at the brooding trial, the guy from BASL popped up. We, we were, I don't think we were in that trial, uh, but just just knowing that's, that's, that's our number one soybean, bar none, in, in South Alabama, North Florida is that 74X8. Great disease package, fits it's a broad spectrum product. It's a, all soil types, uh, but it is just an extend bean. Uh, last comment, the XFO stuff, limited supply. So if you're lucky enough to get a, a 69 XFO, uh, it's really just to kind of see how what kind of fit it's got on your farm. The, the hybrids, are, the, the varieties are pretty similar to, to its counterpart, but uh, you add the ability to use Liberty in your weed control system.